Sarah Sarwin here from Pink Becker Designs. I'm going to show you how to make this lovely fall card. It features two different bundles from our holiday catalog, the Hello Harvest bundle, which I am featuring on my blog this week, and the Gathered Wheat bundle. I'm pulling in that image right there and that one right there. Um, we're going to do some watercoloring. And this is also called a storybook card because it has a little binding on it. Isn't that cute? Um, really easy to do. But let's do all of our stamping and our die cutting first. All right, we're gonna watercolor our pumpkin. So I'm gonna use Stays On. Stays On is a good ink for water. It will not bleed. So that's my choice of ink when I'm gonna watercolor. And I'm gonna use my favorite fall Stampin' Up color. That is Cajun Craze. And I'm actually gonna use the inside of the ink pad today. So I'm gonna squeeze that lid on there and get some ink right there on the lid. Now I've got my water painter and I just use it for another project. So I think it has a little bit of Cajun Craze in it. I'm gonna get my pumpkin a little bit wet so that I kind of prime the paper so I can drop the color down on there and it'll kind of spread around. Okay, now I'm gonna add a little bit of water right here. Whoa, that was a little more than a little. And I'm gonna drop that color onto that water. And it'll just kind of take it and bleed it up and down. I'm gonna go at the top and the bottom. Your water painters come in a three pack. You've got a very fine tip um, brush. You've got a medium brush, which is what I'm using. And you also have a big wide brush, which is great for backgrounds. You get, you've got one for every use. All right, so I really wanted it to be darker on the bottom and the top. So now I'm gonna kind of clean that and kind of pull those in together like that. So we've got a lighter center there. All right, let me dab that up. Grab my soft suede. And we just need a little bit of soft suede. Just a little bit for that stem right there. Okay. All right, now we're gonna let that dry. It's very juicy. So I'm gonna set it aside and we're gonna do a bunch of other things while it dries. Okay, I am gonna stamp the, I don't know, the wheat. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Um, it's just like fall sprigs. Let's call it a fall sprig. Um, I'm gonna use my Stamparatus because we're actually going to use Stamp and Write markers. And when you use Stamp and Write markers, Sometimes when you put the color on the, the stamp and then you stamp it, it's kind of a light, kind of a watered down color. And so by using my Stamparatus, I can layer that color on, do it a few times. So I'm using a soft suede marker and I'm gonna color the branch, the stem part. Um, this is a stamp and write marker, not a, not a blend marker, not an alcohol marker, just has regular Stampin' Up! ink in it. And they're really good for doing this. All right, so I've got one layer of color on there. Let's stamp it. See how it looks. See, it's very faint. So if we go back with a couple more layers of ink, I think one more layer will be just fine and it'll be nice and dark. There, that's nice. Now we'll do a second image. All right, we've got those two. I'm gonna stamp my sentiment in crushed curry on basic white. And we are gonna use the Oval Builder Punch. I think that's what it's called, Oval Builder. I have a supply list over on my blog for you. It's free. 
It's got two other um, Hello Harvest projects. So make sure you hop over there to grab that. And uh, that way you'll have all the right names. All right, so we're gonna cut these out with our coordinating dies, which are right here. And we are gonna also cut out some extra little branches using those dies um, from crushed curry. So let's bring over our cut and emboss machine and we'll get it all cut out. We have to run it through twice because we only have one of the sprig dies right here. So let's get it lined up. You wanna look in all the little spaces to make sure that it's lined up perfectly. And if you're worried about it, you can lay some post-it tape down on it to keep it in place. Okay. And we've got our little crushed curry stems. Let's get those. And then we'll run this through one more time. All right, our pumpkin is dry. I've cut it out with the matching die from those rustic or the Hello Harvest dies. I'm gonna take a dark Cajun Craze stamp and blend, and I'm gonna flick some more color on there to give it kind of a more rustic look. Add a little bit of extra something something to it. All right, now we'll take, we're gonna take our Actually, let's bring that grid paper back. We're gonna take this crumb cake piece and we're gonna use that textured stamp right there. And we're gonna add some splatter to the corners. And I'm gonna stamp and stamp again each time so that I have kind of an extra layer of dots that maybe aren't necessarily as dark. All right, I'm gonna stamp over on my grid paper, add some more light uh, splatters right there. Um, while we have this here, let's do that also to the inside piece. This is going to go to on the inside of our card. Okay, so we'll just do that. Kind of carry over that design to the inside of your card. All right, I think we're ready to put it all together. I have a soft suede mat. All the measurements for these pieces, again, are on that PDF. Make sure you hop over there and grab it. All right, now we're gonna take, let's see, I think I'm gonna use dimensionals to strategically adhere these. So we'll put these two like that, all right? And then we'll take our dimensionals that we're gonna use for our pumpkin and put them right on top. That's gonna hold them in place really well. All right, so peel off all your little backings. Add your pumpkin right there. Now I'm gonna just, I think I'm just gonna use two of these. And these I am gonna use some glue. We're gonna tuck these down behind here like that. Let's see where my other one is. Tuck that down into there like that. Maybe we should use that third one, we've got it. Why don't we use it? There we go, like that, isn't that pretty? All right, we will take our hello and put that, you know what? I'm looking at that compared to that. I think I need to restamp that. What do you guys think? I'm thinking I need to stamp it. It looks like maybe my ink pad needs to be re-inked. So let's try that again. I've got extra paper. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, much better. That was a weak hello, that other one. We want a big, bold hello. And it fits perfectly there in that bottom oval. And then we will take our hello and put it right there. Now I'm gonna put just a small linen thread bow. I don't want to overtake my image with too big of a bow. I do love big bows, but I think sometimes we need a small one. And we'll get our glue dots. Put that on right there. All right, now the paper that I'm using is my, probably my most favorite paper we've ever had. 
It's full of ginghams. I love it. It's um, the Cottage Gingham Designer Series paper. Now this card base is four by 11. I'm sorry, four and a fourth by 11. Normal card, right? This is a normal card base. However, I added a score line right here and we're gonna adhere that down flat. All right, so that our card opens like that. Now, if you're like me and you hate writing a bunch of stuff in a card, this is great because it makes it a smaller amount of area you have to cover. I know that's bad, isn't it? But sometimes, sometimes you just want to write a quick note. All right, here's our first little strip like that. And then this is just the opposite side of that pattern. And we're going to use that big, bold check. Now, this paper is... Um, this is a four and a half inch section, and this is four and a fourth. So the paper, if you turn it that way, it'll be wrong. You got to turn it this way to fit. Okay, let's add our little piece of inside, small little piece. And last but not least, we'll get a couple or three more dimensionals and add it right here. And there you go. Now, this could be a great thank you card. Hello, you could change the sentiment to say happy birthday. There's also a great banner in our, let me get it pulled out, our Hello Harvest stamp set that says wishing you the loveliest day, which I think would make a great birthday card as well. All right, make sure you hop back to my blog. I've got that free PDF with the measurements as well as two other Hello Harvest projects for you. Let me know if you have questions. Thanks everybody, bye-bye.